Welcome back, Am Fishers. I'm Bill Dejopoulos, the host of the Amfish Fishing Vlog Series. Uh, this video today is uh, about a little device many people may not know exists. Um, if you're a bass person, a uh, bass fisherman, uh, you probably do. Uh, but just in case uh, some of you out there don't know about it, uh, it's just called the little worm blower. It comes in a little, uh, it's just a little plastic container there, and I'll show you a different brand here as well. And you can see there's just a little syringe uh, tip there. And what this allows you to do, I'm just positioning myself here so I don't lose catching this on camera, but I've just got a little grub here, just a little trailer. And what you do is you stick this little uh, syringe portion into the body and slowly push on it. And what you end up doing is Let's see if I can inflate this one here. So that trailer right there has air in it now. I've actually just blown in some air. Again, it's just a little syringe tip, uh, plastic um, squeeze bottle. But I've I've inflated this little grub here with air. And what that allows you to do, I'm just going to reposition again because I'm in my kayak today. What this allows you to do, and I can use, I'll use um, a swim bait as an example. This is an Alabama rig, um, but if I wanted to inflate this swim bait, say I was just using this swim bait as a Texas rig, uh, or you know, rigged it just on a hook and, and throw it out. If I want to inflate it, I take this little syringe, depending on what part I want to inflate. So as an example, say I want to inflate the upper, uh, the front half of the bait. Um, if this isn't a split body, uh, this one actually is a split body, but there's still a, a fixed area here. If I wanted to inflate the head with a little bit of air, what that's going to do, and just picture this being on a hook on its own, forget about the rest of the rig, it'll actually sit more like this in the water. Possibly like this, but probably like this, because now what I've done is I've inflated that front head portion of the bait. And what this allows you to do, again, these little worm blowers are very inexpensive. You're talking uh, probably a couple of bucks with taxes. Um, but they're great little baits, uh, sorry, great little product for uh, using on some of these baits. Again, I've blown this little portion of the body up. Um, this is actually a trailer I use on a spinner bait. Uh, but example, say you have rubber worms and you're out there Texas rigging and you want your worm to sit vertical. Uh, a lot of salted baits, for those of you who don't know, anything that's heavily, heavily salted um, tends to sink. So if this is very, very heavily salted, it's going to sit on the bottom and it may kind of jolt up a little bit, may not. Um, but what you can do with those heavily scented ones, uh, salted ones is if you do have a worm blower, like I said, I've got two different, uh, two different ones here with me. Uh, it's very, very simple. You just take that little syringe tip, insert it in. Start slowly though. You don't want to over inflate the worm and break the worm. And you just start to press and press and press until you feel that air. You can actually feel the air. Uh, now this is just all bubbled up. Uh, again, I'm squeezing it, it's all bubbled up. There is actually air in there. So I've injected this bait with air. But again, what it allows you to do, one more readjust here. What it does allow you to do is it will keep these baits, you know, say I want the tail end to, to be more vertical and I inflate this half of the body. Uh, if I want that worm, the worm head to be um, inflated, I, I can inflate a few spots on the front and have the worm sit more up. Uh, again, if you want to do the tail end of the worm, you can do the tail end of the worm and have that sit more vertical. Uh, but again, these are great little uh, products, very inexpensive. Again, this is a Berkeley one, and this is Lindy. Doesn't matter which one you get, they're just, again, little plastic containers uh, with a little built-in syringe, and they just blow air into baits. Um, but you can use them on pretty much any soft plastic bait you have. Uh, just inject it in there slowly and start pressing on the on the actual uh, plastic tube and what ends up happening like I said you're gonna you're gonna feel the air actually going into the bait if you're holding it uh, and it's just again it's it's another way of presenting a different bait if you do want a bait more vertical uh, again Texas rigging uh, little simple skinny finesse worms I love it um, I'll, I'll inject the tail end of them and have them sit as vertical as possible uh, when a bass is coming around there and it just sees that worm kind of sticking out of the bottom of the uh, the lake it, it's very hard for them to resist smashing it um, but again little 
inexpensive uh, gadgets like this uh, come in handy. You may not use them all the time. You may want your worm to kind of have more of a, a sway and not be so vertical. That's totally fine. But for a couple of bucks to have one or two of these uh, accessible in your boat, in your kayak, wherever you fish from, even from shore, just in your tackle box, they're a great handy little tool to have. Like I said, you can inflate your, your, your plastic, soft plastic baits, uh, whether it's a swim bait, a 10 inch worm, six inch worm, uh, tube, doesn't matter what it is. As long as that bait has a hard body and a solid body that you can inflate into, you can add air to those baits. So uh, I thought I'd do this video, like I said, I've got these, uh, a lot of these little gadgety uh, fishing things with me. Um, you find them over the years, you try them. Uh, this one's been just, a, again, it's a, a simple little, simple, simple, simple little, uh, little gadget to have with you, but it works. And it does allow you to inflate those soft plastics when uh, you need to maybe give the fish a different presentation and you don't know how to do that. So uh, grab a couple of them, guys. Have them with you. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to get back to my fishing here, and I'll see you at my next video vlogs.